we are feeling the heat on land and in the water. The rising temperatures in our oceans are leading to widespread consequences. And that includes the possibility of seeing more sharks near our shores. We want to see that. CBS News mm -hmm. Miami's Gabriel Arzola explains the impact on sea life. If you've been in the water recently, it's really felt more like bath water than anything. But as it turns out, with all these hot temps, it not only affects what we feel out here, but also in there. The ecosystem in South Florida is getting hit in a way that's never been seen before. A few weeks ago, Manatee Bay, which is west of Key Largo, hit more than 101 degrees. That's the temperature of a jacuzzi, and the water has stayed hot ever since. These are unprecedented high temperatures, so we don't really have the past to rely on to predict what we're going to see. Dr. Jim Forquin is a professor of biological sciences at FIU and says this hot water holds less oxygen. Less oxygen means the seagrass roots create a poison that essentially kills the plant. He tells me historically they've never seen waters this warm and when you consider that fish, crabs and manatees all heavily rely on this grass for food, it's hard to predict what their food supply will look like in the next few months. So we, we could not have enough food for the manatees when they get here if things are as bad as they could be. And these changing waters are also bringing in the big fish. According to the website trackingsharks.com, there have been 31 shark attacks in the United States. Most of them have been in Florida. Although an attack is rare, finding them close by is getting more common. If the bait is moving closer to shore, then we expect to see the, the sharks moving closer to shore. But you know, we always have a lot of sharks close to our shore here in Florida. And to top it all off, this hot water acts as high octane fuel for storms. So what will cool it all off? Well, experts tell me a big hurricane. I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS News, Miami.